Whenever there's a crisis, you can bet the Canadian Red Cross will step in to lend a hand. The COVID-19 pandemic is no different. For more on how the organization is assisting in the response, I'm joined by the VP for Saskatchewan, Luke Mullinder. Luke, thanks for being here. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having us. Tell me about how the Red Cross is supporting people in our province right now when it comes to the pandemic. Yeah, well... You know what, there, I think that there's three major areas and major keys that uh, we're doing right now or that we're involved with with the community. The first one is that uh, we're helping support vulnerable people um, who need to self-isolate and don't have the capacity to do so currently. Um, so, for instance, that's uh, providing registration services um, to places where they can stay, uh, supporting their provision of basic needs. Um, like hygiene products, uh, food, but uh, also isolating in several locations across the province. Um, we've helped about probably over 600 people so far. And, uh, you know, our wellness and safety and well-being checks, uh, we've conducted about 3,500 phone calls. So that's uh, it's an incredible effort right now by our volunteers and staff. I'm really proud of them. Uh, the second way uh, that we're helping throughout COVID is uh, with our isolated seniors. Um, we have a friendly phone program. And uh, during the pandemic, uh, our volunteers are making additional sort of calls um, on to our seniors that are enrolled in our program um, to support uh, access to basic needs like medication and uh, any type of sort of community resource that they need. I think that the, uh, the third most important thing that we're doing is that uh, the Red Cross is providing uh, a lot of support to uh, First Nations communities in Saskatchewan. Um, we have right now, we've stood up a First Nations um, sort of, I guess you you would call it a uh, call center um, that uh, helps um, our First Nations leaders in any capacity that they really need. So for instance, uh, so far we've delivered supplies, um, you know, to, to these communities, uh, they, include cleaning, cleaning kits, cots, blankets, pillows, things of that nature, hygiene kits, um, you know, anything to support our First Nations and, and uh, Indigenous partners. Do you need help? Do you need volunteers? How can people get involved if they yeah. want to lend a hand? You know what, I, I'm really uh, glad that you asked that, and I thank you for that. I'm very appreciative of our current volunteers. You know, a lot of them are going over and above um, some of the things that they signed on to do originally, and it's because uh, they're great-natured pe people that just want to make a difference in, in, in people's lives. We always need new volunteers. Um, right now, as a matter of fact, the Canadian Red Cross has has, you know, a need for to build our disaster teams on the ground, um, you know, whether it's people that are able to respond to situations virtually, um, whether it's people that are able to, um, you know, connect individuals to the experts that are out there that they may need access to. But also we're looking for specialists, right? We uh, right now we're looking for practitioners, nurses, doctors, anybody uh, related or that has to do with the health industries, because obviously with COVID and the fact that it's pivoting us in, in so many ways, we need to bolster any team that we have um, that deals and engages directly in the community, because that's the community and those are the uh, people that we serve. Thanks so much for this, Luke. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate the time.